Electoral bonds have rocked the bedrock of Indian politics, challenging the very essence of democracy. They have become a conduit for anonymous donations, raising questions about transparency, accountability, and the influence of big money on policymaking. The story of electoral bonds in India begins in 2017, when the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party, under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, introduced the system. The aim was to formalize the process of political donations and curb black money. However, the path to good intentions was fraught with controversy. These bonds, issued by the State Bank of India, allowed donors, both individuals and corporations, to contribute to political parties anonymously. The identity of the donor remained hidden, not just from the public, but also from the receiving party. The BJP, which introduced the system, emerged as the primary beneficiary, receiving a staggering 57% of the donations made through electoral bonds. This led to concerns of an uneven playing field, favoring the ruling party and potentially enabling legal corruption. Critics argued that the veil of anonymity provided by electoral bonds undermined transparency, creating a pathway for money laundering and the unchecked influence of corporate donors on policymaking. Fast forward to 2024, the Indian Supreme Court declared electoral bonds illegal, calling them unconstitutional. In a landmark decision, the court directed the State Bank of India to cease issuing bonds and disclose the identities of the buyers. This ruling was hailed as a victory for democracy and transparency, aiming to curb political mischief and the influence of big money in governments. To summarize, electoral bonds, introduced as a means to formalize political donations, became a contentious issue in Indian politics. Critics argued that they undermined transparency and favored the ruling party, leading to the Supreme Court declaring them illegal in 2024. This decision, a victory for democracy and transparency, has the potential to significantly impact the landscape of political funding in India. In this journey of electoral bonds, we've seen the clash of good intentions and harsh realities, the struggle for transparency, and the quest for fair play in the political arena. As we move forward, the lessons learned from the electoral bond saga will continue to shape the discourse on political funding, not just in India, but globally.